Hi guys, it's Sandeep from Phone Arena and we are here at the Qualcomm booth at MWC 2016 going hands-on on a new wireless charging tech that Qualcomm has introduced with the Snapdragon 820 processor. So let's take a look at what this charging technology has to offer us. So generally you have a smartphone that is wireless charging enabled and you have a wireless charging mat as well. All you have to do is basically keep it on the mat and it starts charging. So as you can see, the charging indicator has come on and the handset is charging wirelessly but still in contact with the wireless charging pad. So what if you want to charge it even if it's not in contact with the pad? So imagine I'm adding these three books. As you can see, it's just regular books. There's nothing different about it. So I'm putting it here and then I place the LG G4 in this case, which is a modified version since it has a newer processor inside it. So, and you can see that it's still charging. So you can even go further and lift it up even higher and it'll still charge. So at around this point, it stops charging. So that's quite a height at which you're not in contact with the charging pad itself. Now I'll demonstrate this further using a light bulb. So if you put it here, you can see that it'll turn on pretty soon. Yeah, so it turned on. Now I can lift this higher and higher and it's still getting power since there's nothing else. You can see it dimming a bit because it's starting to lose the power from the wireless charger. So when I bring it up, say about here, it goes off completely. But when I bring it back down, it starts lighting up again. So that's how powerful this wireless charging feature is. So as of now, this feature is available with Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 as well as all the future, uh, future processors that Qualcomm is gonna announce. And what's even more important is that this feature is also compatible with iPhones. So we actually have an iPhone here and you can get adapters such as this with a lightning port and you can just plug it into your iPhone and you place the iPhone here and it'll begin to charge. So you actually don't need a new iPhone or an iPhone with wireless charging capability. You don't really have to wait for that. So all you have to do is just have an iPhone, get an adapter for it with a lightning port and then you're good to go. And these adapters come in different sizes, different shapes. So you have one that looks like a flat pad and this could possibly go under your case as well and then you have another one which is similar to the one we're showing now but in a black form factor so you'll also need a compatible wireless charging pad so if you're actually going to use this on a snapdragon 820 powered phone if you want this kind of height you'll need a wireless charging pad as well that meets the air fuel class 2 design and you will need a smartphone that has Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 or one of the new processors that Qualcomm will be announcing in the future that has the ability to do the air fuel standard. So that was a quick look at the Qualcomm Y-Power wireless power reference design uh, from here at MWC 2016. If you like the video, do hit the like button and do subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.